Howdy YouTubers, here I am at the workbench again. Um, I'm going to move away from working on crossing signals for a while and start thinking about chain link fences. So in a prior video I showed these, um, the chain link fence kits that I have. This is one of them and I'm going to start with this one and then I've got a couple, a couple of other brands that I'll do later. But this is a, this is old new inventory I guess. I got it on eBay. Uh, it's chain link fence kit by Alloy Forms. I, I don't see them around too often, but I, I saw it on eBay and I grabbed it because it looks pretty good. It says H-O-R-N, but it does look like H-O to me. So it's fine screening and then it has all the, all the um, I guess these are bronze. I don't know if they're brass or bronze, but it has all the posts with the tops bent over for uh, barbed wire. And then it gives you very fine wire to use for the barbed wire. And then it gives you a, a bunch of, um, it looks like steel, steel rod, narrow steel rod. And those would be the, the cross members. So it gives you the posts and then rods that you would cut for the cross, the cross bars. And then it actually gives you two gates. So you cut the screening, you super glue it onto all the posts and you, I think what I'll do is I'll, there's, there's a bottom to each of the posts, but it's not long enough to stick into the home soap board in my case. So I'll probably, every so many posts, I'll just uh, piggyback a longer piece of galvanized wire and stick that down into the, into the home soap. So I'm gonna start playing around with this thing and I'll come back on camera with different stages of the process. So here we go. Here's what the gates look like. The wire mesh is super glued or CA glued onto the frame that came with the kit. And I'm gonna end up putting longer brass rods on there and then put a brass tube into the layout, the homosote, so that these actually hinge. And these will be in front of the track at the printing facility so that you can open and close them as you switch cars. The top there, that very, very thin copper wire came with the kit. And I just wrapped it around the barbed wire posts with super glue. And these, they'll all be painted kind of a dull gray silver, the whole fence. So you won't see all these different colors. But those are the gates. And then we'll take a look at the fence itself and how that's built. Okay, now that I've built the gates, I'm going to work on the fence portion. So this kit comes with stainless steel wire, I think it is, because it's very springy and tough. And then it comes with these prefabricated posts. I'm not sure what they're made out of. They're kind of soft. I th it's like a bronze or brass, but it's, it's really soft, almost like a pot metal. But we'll see if I can solder it. I haven't tried that yet. And then each of these posts has a little hole that this fence rail goes into. It's kind of a neat thing. It's too bad they don't make these kits anymore. Um, so I'm measuring them an inch and a half apart. It's probably a little more than HO scale, but I need I need the posts. I don't have that many posts. And I think it looks pretty good. So what I'm what I've done to craft longer um, posts so that I can stick it into the homosote. And also so I can make extra posts. I tried various things. One was using galvanized wire and just shaping that and gluing it. But I came up with a better solution, I think, which is, and I apologize, I don't know the diameter. I think this is one millimeter tube. Um, I don't know because it's one of these Chinese Amazon packages and it's not labeled, but it comes with various sizes. And this smallest tube, which I think is a millimeter, the, the stainless wire actually fits in there. It's pretty tight, but it fits in there. So what I'm able to do, because that stainless is so tough, I, I put it in the tube, and then I take these little nippers, and I just cut a small piece carefully around click you can hear it cut and it makes a big a little section basically 
And what I what I'm using those sections for is one when I need to make the fence longer and uh, I need to join multiple pieces of this wire, I just use that as a coupling, slide it across the two pieces, and then I'll just super glue that. One. Two, <clears throat> I'm taking solid brass stock rods, I guess you call them, and I'm shaping those into extra posts. It looks a little funky, but what I do is I flatten the end and then I shape it so there's a, a bit of a an indentation and then the top is bent over for the barbed wire. And that little indentation allows me to put it... So I take one of these little segments that I just showed you that I cut. I slide it onto the stainless and then I'll, I'll, lay, it, I'll lay that homemade post on top of that little segment and then I'll solder it and I'll super glue that segment so it doesn't slide. And then that, as you can see, that one's, that one's a bit longer than the others. So that, so every say fourth or fifth, I'll put that longer post and then I can stick the whole fence into the um, home soap. So I'll show you how I'd make that in a second. But once, once all these pieces are on there, I'm just going to super glue the fencing material on it and then I'll put barbed wire and I'll show you that in a, in a separate post. So let me take the camera here and orient it so I can show you how I actually make these little posts. So here's what I do to shape the brass rod. And this, this is one millimeter brass rod. It's about the same thickness as the post that came with the kit. So I take a ball peen hammer and end my, um, this is, I mean, this brass is so thin, it's pretty soft. And on the end of the vise, on the flat spot, I just pound it a bit. And you see how that flattens out. Try to get it fairly flat. Not a huge piece, but I mean, not a, not a huge length of it. And then I use my needle nose pliers. It's more of an art than a science, but I kind of make, I bend it up to make that indentation. And then down again. And then I bend the very end over and that makes the bit for the barbed wire and I'm, I'm doing this roughly just to show you I'll take when I, I take more time when I'm doing this and then I come over to my handy bench grinder and I I just turn it on enough to get a bit of speed and then I'll just shave the sides so you know obviously be careful when you're doing this but it's it's not fast enough that it's really too dangerous, but I do wear safety glasses when I do it and I'm always careful. So what it, what it ends up looking like is this is a finished one. So I make that top as thin as I can. Interestingly, when I got it very thin, it split almost like there's layers that they use to make this rod, but I'm going to, I'm going to solder it. So it's not going to be an issue. So it's going to sit on that little piece of tube that I cut off and then I'll solder it and because it's got that little indentation it lays basically flat so that when I lay the mesh over the whole thing it sits nicely on there so that's what I'm doing at this stage in the project the next stage I'll I'll be gluing the once I get it all sorted and get the right length this is going to be a 21 inch fence and it's going to go in front of the printing facility and then there'll be gates that open up for the track so that when you are switching cars you have to open the gates and then when you're done switching you have to close the gate so another element of realism to the operation so that's what it's all about so stay tuned and i will uh give you an update